going on everybody um i don't know about you but most of the time if i'm dealing with somebody on a day-to-day -day basis and i'm starting to kind of figure out who they are as a person you know because i'm around them a lot you start to obviously pick up on their personality and stuff and their personality traits kind of how they act on a day-to-day -day basis and just depending on the conversations that you have you know you just really figure out who a person is and one of the things that you learn about people um, is uh, first of all people are miserable that's that's first and foremost I I interact with a lot of people on a day-to-day -day basis that they're just they're just miserable all the time and I don't like being around that I don't understand I mean I understand that life gets hard and shit but you don't have to let it become you you don't have to let it become your personality just being miserable all the time because life is really just all about how you respond to things that might be quote unquote upsetting or bad or ain't you know whatever emotion you want to use it's all about how you react so if you if you're uh, going about life just miserably it's because you're responding miserably and um, you know I can sit here and say that because I mean I've done that before I've gone through shit in my life and I've had to deal with stuff and, you know get over traumas and shit it's, it's, it's hard you know I mean you still have bad days and stuff but you know you just can't be miserable all the time um, second thing that I see a lot uh, especially being from where I'm from uh, in Kentucky um, a lot of the cities that are outside of Lexington, Louisville. I really, I really should say Louisville because Lexington is pretty bad about this too. But a lot of the small cities here in Kentucky, you can you notice that people are just racist. Uh, I mean, flat out. That's just that's the truth. Um, and that's one thing that obviously I've, I've never tolerated. But as the years go on, I definitely don't tolerate it even more. You know. Um, before, when I was younger, it's it's one of those things where you hear something racist or something, and you know it is, but it was kind of like, what do you, what can you do? But you know, the older I get, obviously, the more I understand uh, just humans and uh, becoming more of an uh, empath than I used to be. Uh, if I hear anything that I feel like is remotely offensive or racist to another ethnicity, I'm, I'm going to say something. I'm, you know, I, I just, I don't have time for all that because I love all people. I love talking to anybody and uh, creating relationships with anybody. In my place of work, it's such a diverse group of people and I love that. You know, there's there's uh, dudes from Pakistan, there's dudes from uh, Cameroon, you know, there's, you know, just regular uh, black women from Lexington, there's me, there's, uh, there's all types of different people and I just love that. I've always been a fan of just talking to different people because they offer you something that you don't know anything about and it's just you get to learn you know all all people most of the time are very nice there's always bad people it doesn't matter what their sex gender or their gender whatever they identify as where they come from all that people are bad so you know that's the part that bothers me because all people are bad people suck you know and the worst people be white people. That I mean, that's just facts. The worst people be white people. All the shootings and shit, like in schools and churches and marathons and bombings and shit, it, it, it be white people. And white people want to point fingers, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I'm just saying, 
if I'm around you and I hear something racist, I'm, I'm going to say something because I don't stand for that. I don't stand for none of that. I'm going to confront you. What do you mean by that? And, the, and a racist favorite thing to say when you catch them up on something or or you catch them slipping on something, you say, what do you mean by that? They'll say, oh, no, 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 I, 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 I. yeah. Right. So uh, that's that's an interesting thing because you know, I mean, I'm I'm a Caucasian male, so for me, you can't say anything racist to white people. I mean, you just can't. And it doesn't exist. Racism towards white people doesn't exist because white people have done have done nothing but. Ag ag agonize and terrorize every other ethnicity in the world forever for the world's history they're liars they're 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 criminals they're murderers the they're thieves all of that so whatever y'all want to call white people hey man go for it i don't care i'll <laughs> i'll say it with you i i i don't like white people either it's it's frustrating that's why that's the reason again the reason I say that is because white people be the worst white people be the absolute worst and you know there's some comedians that have made a joke I think it was uh, uh, ah who was it Eddie Murphy no not Eddie Murphy um, damn I don't remember who did it but uh, they made a joke about like uh, white the he, he just wants some uh, someone to be straight up you know what I'm saying like the backhanded racist people be the worst because they will be like cool in your face and then talk shit behind your back. And it's fucked up because I think I work with a person like that and I can I can smell it, I can see it, I can I can sense it, and it drives me crazy. I, I hate it because it's like I I just wish I could be like the Thanos for all you know what I'm saying all uh, parties affected by said racist, you know what I mean? But it's all love, man. And for me, just know whoever you are, I got love for you. And if I don't like you, it's because I don't like you. You know, I, I just don't like you as a person. I just don't want to be around you. Yeah, you know, I, I don't ever, it's weird to me to, it's weird to me to, to judge someone just off of their heritage or where their great, great, great grandparents are from. Like that's, that's such that's the weirdest thing to me. And then you go to white people and you got uh, ancestors of, of fucking each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird to me, man. I just, I just wish people would, first of all, mind your own business. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just mind your own business, there, there's no issues in the world. I mean, that's just flat out. Mind your business, people are happy. If people are happy, the world just turns normally and people just go about their life, you know? So that's just my little thoughts, man. Just just be a good person. Don't be an asshole. Don't be racist. Don't say nothing stupid. Just go about your day and go home. You know what I'm saying? Like, people put, it's weird, man. So I get nation. Stay safe, stay blessed. Holidays coming up, man. Hug your family a little hug your family a little tight, man. Tell them hey. Call your aunts and uncles, your cousins. All that, man. Life's too short. We just gotta spread some more love, man. Uh Swaggy Nation. We'll holler at you later, man. Peace.